Normally, I platinum every new game I play. However, some games turned out to be a little more difficult to platinum than I expected. I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear! So here are 10 games that I gave up on because they were either too difficult, too tedious, or something else that prevented me from platinuming a game. And the first game on this list is Bioshock Infinite. After platinuming the first two Bioshock games and absolutely loving them, I was really intrigued to see what Infinite was gonna have in stock for me, but sadly the trophy requirements plus the overall story of the game didn't stick with me nearly as much as the underwater world of Rapture did. Specifically, the trophy scavenger hunt was a massive turnoff. This trophy together with the different world and story of Infinite sadly turned me off and scared me away too much to even attempt trying it again at any time soon. But a far less difficult game that I gave up on was Detroit Become Human. First of all, let me be clear by saying I love this game. I had a fantastic time with my first playthrough, however, because of that exact reason, I'm afraid to replay it another two times in specific manners to get the desired endings I need for a few trophies. I'm actually worried that it will ruin my view and experience of the game and make me dislike it. I'm happy with the ending I got, and if I have to force myself to get different endings, I'm sure it'll change my perspective of the game, whether that be good or bad. Besides that, there's also collectibles to find in various chapters that only appear here when you follow a certain story path and that just makes for some tedious gameplay that i want to try again at some point but for now it'll have to wait a game that doesn't have to wait but the specific version will is the ps4 version of gta 3. i bought the original ps4 version of the gta trilogy expecting to platinum all three however what i had not anticipated was how terrible the controls were like they are so bad it was almost unplayable for me driving around is fine, but shooting at enemies was so difficult and finicky that I just had to give up. I had done a few miscellaneous trophies already, such as completing 100 taxi fares, but that's about as far as I could go. At the time I bought the game, the definitive edition weren't even revealed yet, so now that I own the definitive edition, I will definitely try to platinum it again, but this time we'll hopefully have a better experience. Next up is actually a game I enjoyed quite a bit of, namely Black Ops 3. Honestly, it was a really good Call of Duty, but after spending around 150 hours in it, I still couldn't get the Platinum. I got all the multiplayer trophies, but consequently that was because it was the main thing I was playing. Because for the Platinum, you also need to complete the campaign on the highest difficulty, but also do all of those zombie trophies and various camos and other requirements. See, the campaign I could have completed, however tedious that may have been, but the zombies is where I aborted the Platinum. Zombies isn't something I enjoy for a prolonged period of time, and having to do that with the squad to get all the necessary parts and trophies wasn't something I had the energy for. Hey, maybe one day I'll find a squad to attempt it with, but for now, it'll have to stay without a Platinum. Then we have a game that I spent a little less time in was Knack. You see, this game looked super fun before trying it, but I didn't look at the trophy guide before trying it. With a 6 out of 10 expected difficulty and 4 different playthroughs, that doesn't look like something that I'd have a great time with now. I tried this game for the first few hours, but then just never went back to it. I promise I'll get this Platinum at one point, but only because it's such an iconic PS4 launch game. It still looks pretty fun, but congrats to anyone who has the patience for this Platinum. Another game that may look very innocent, but is actually stupidly difficult, is Fall Guys. Like everyone else, when this game released on PlayStation Plus, I just had to check it out. It was such a blast to play, and I seriously laughed my ass off countless times because of the goofy nature of this game. <laughs> Attempting this Platinum, however, did the exact opposite. Then it just became frustrating as nothing else. I mean, just look at the trophy guide for this. You need several cosmetic items that only occasionally appear in the store, and you also need to win five wins in a row. Like, bro, I, I, I could never. I mean, I could get a win somewhat consistently, maybe two or three in a row if I'm lucky, but nah, five, nah. Never. I've nope. actually seen people say that it's sort of boostable now or is something in that way nowadays, so who knows, maybe I'll attempt it again in the near future. Speaking of games, I'll platinum again in the near future. Another one is Rainbow Six Siege. I gave up on this platinum for a few reasons though, but after going on and off at this platinum over the years, I realized that I need to really commit to this one. I already got the trophy for reaching the gold rank and reaching level 50, even a lucky trophy where I need to kill someone with a breach charge. But the other trophies I have left are for getting 5 flawless wins and getting a win with every operator in rank. The operator I probably still need is always banned which makes it impossible and if my team then loses the first round, the other trophy is gone for the game instantly. I just need some luck and a little bit of skill to do this and I will commit to this one soon though because it should be doable if I actually spend some time on it. 
But this next game is one I just can't figure out and it's a favorite of many being The Witcher 3. The game just wasn't what I was enjoying sadly. The Witcher is cool but it's almost too big of a game. There's missable trophies and multiple playthroughs needed to get this platinum. Went parts to find in specific areas of the game and different playthroughs is needed because of the difficulty challenges. I guess this game is just a little too overwhelming for me to attempt anytime soon. I mean I've platinum games of this magnitude before, but at least getting them was really fun. So for the moment, until I enjoy The Witcher 3, it's looking pretty grim for that platinum trophy. Another one that I can't gather the energy for is Killing Floor 2. Once again, a game that I really enjoyed playing. Some fun gunplay and general gameplay to have fun with, but this being a mainly multiplayer game is probably the reason I don't have this platinum yet. See, I gave up on this because you need to find collectibles inside of a map and need the other players to help you out, because it's near impossible to do it solo. That, plus the level grinding and survival difficulty make this an unpleasant experience to try again. It's another game I want to platinum, but because of the difficulty and a few other aspects, I just need a little extra motivation before trying to attempt this again. But the one game that I absolutely need to force myself to platinum at some point but just gave up on years ago is Battlefield 3. Easily, easily one of my favorite games of all time. But I just can't platinum it at the moment. Why? Because of the co-op trophies. I have all the multiplayer trophies out of the way and the single player shouldn't be an issue. However, the co-op in this game is. Because it's on PS3 and this game being 10 plus years old makes this a daunting task. I gave up because I couldn't find a partner and then just forgot about it at some point. I will dust off my PS3 at one point and get this platinum one day, but which day that is, is probably the same day as the 9 other games I gave up on. Anyway, if you want to see more trophy hunting content, check out one of these videos. And that's it. See ya.